So I thought I'd post a quick video here of my recent autopsy results um, on a pair of Battleborn 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate 12 volt batteries that I ended up pulling out of my local dump. Interestingly enough, uh, the day I found these was the same day that a potential major design flaw was brought to light about these particular batteries. And so I thought I'd go ahead and open them up and see if I could find those issues and see if there were any parts I could harvest uh, from them. And um, here is basically the issue everyone's talking about. This uh, connection here on the left of the positive uh, lug terminal to the positive bus bar. Um, this connection is made using an aluminum threaded bolt. Um, and the issue is basically that between these two metals is uh, the plastic cage for the cell module. It's being sandwiched uh, by these two materials, these two metals, and um, this bolt. And so the issue here is, is if this connection gets too hot, hot enough to melt or distort the plastic that's being sandwiched between, um, you could end up developing a looseness in this connection. Um, and uh, here's a shot of the head of the bolt uh, and how it makes contact with the uh, main positive bus bar. Um, and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and take things a little bit further and investigate this connection. And I actually ended up discovering that the hole is you know, considerably oversized for, the, for this bolt. And so keep in mind, none of these threads are making a connection. It's really only the head. And, um, and to make matters worse, uh, it's not the entire head of the bolt. It's just this raised flat that you can see underneath the head. So this is really, you know, the amount of surface area that is being tasked to carry, you know, the max continuous uh, load uh, these batteries. And um, on top of that, the use of aluminum is, is kind of strange. Yes, the aluminum cools quickly, but it also has the potential to heat up very quickly, which could cause the problem. It's, it's an interesting choice of materials. Um, anyways, here is uh, the measurements of the inner diameter of that uh, raised flange that's, that's making contact. And um, I'll let you do the math uh, here, but here's the, uh, the outer diameter. And um, when I crunch the numbers and compare it to, you know, standard surface areas of rated lug connections, to me it seems a little undersized, which might lead to even more overheating issues. Anyways, here's another issue I, I didn't really like. Uh, these, these wires here were... Uh, zip tied and, and rubbing against this uh, standoff on the BMS, um, which I didn't really think was, was you know, a, a wise thing, especially if you're using these batteries in off-road vehicles or boats and, you know, things where there's a lot of vibration. Even more alarming, though, is one of the batteries, the temp sensor, uh, wasn't even taped down uh, to the, the cells at all. Uh, it was just hanging out here in the air like this, which is kind of scary considering. Um, but the real uh, death of these batteries is likely due to uh, water ingress, which is pretty common here uh, in the tropics where I live. Um, m my theory is basically as these cells uh, expand and contract, um, they're going to draw in air. And if you live in a humid environment, for operating these batteries in a humid environment, you're, you're going to end up drawing air in unless they're completely watertight. And with that, you're going to bring in uh, moisture as these cells sweat. You can actually see some of that um, on here. Um, this is basically the, the nickel-plated um, plates that the cells are welded to, and you can see a lot of dissimilar metal corrosion you can see a lot of rust on any steel fasteners here um, on the BMS, which is at the top of the case. Um, one thing I do like, and I have to applaud about these BMSs, is they are the first BMS that I've seen in a battery that um, is got some potting on it. Um, the uh, 
main um, power connection wires here are potted on the back side of the printed circuit board and some of the uh, major components have potting around them so I definitely applaud that I'd love to see more manufacturers do that um, here you can see basically how bumpy uh, the blue um, covering is from moisture uh, you can also so the, see all the green corrosion um, on the nickel plating uh, between these these different modules which are basically uh, pressed together and held together in the case with uh, foam and spacers. Anyways, um, these batteries, keep in mind, are only rated IP54, which means, you know, water can get in and and uh, if so, it, it's gonna do it's gonna do damage for sure.